Hey YouTube, it's Kurt here, and today I want to discuss with you a little bit about which is better for your career, as a guitarist or as a musician. Um, whether that's between playing live or putting down recorded music and getting that out there, whether that be in the form of a YouTube video or an album. Pretty much anything in that category of getting it out there on the internet. Um, now, I want to talk about these two things individually. Now, concerning the live portion of your music. I think that the live portion is, and will always be, a very important part of just music in general. And it's going to be in part, an important part of who you are as a musician and how you come off to other people. And that's just one thing to take note of. I think you should definitely be able to play live. If you can't play live, I don't have as much respect for you as a musician in general. Um, but the thing is, like, I've been in my community for a couple of years now, and I think there's a lot of barriers to the live play. Um, there's some very good things. Um, some of the very good things is that you're never going to connect with someone, um, like, in an almost spiritual sense, um, over an album. Um, sometimes you do, but you'll get a whole different animal when you perform live and you actually are at bars and you're talking to people and that's going to be very good for the beginnings of your career um, but there are barriers sometimes um, if you try to get yourself out there there's going to be um, a lot of barriers in your way and part of it's just getting your name out there getting people to know you getting people to know how good you are and that can take a long time um, concerning going to open mics or getting gigs at bars Sometimes it's just really hard to draw a crowd. Um, it's, you can be the most skilled player on the planet and put on a great show, but people aren't going to come to your shows right away. It's just not really going to happen. You kind of have to make a name for yourself, and you have to do it consistently. Now, here's kind of the trade-off. Um, a lot of bars, they'll have a maximum capacity of like um, 100 people, one or 200 people, and it's really not that much. Um, if you're with a band, it makes everything entirely different, but you can be a great musician and not always have that kind of resource. Um, so really, over time, this kind of demon, I suppose, has changed a little bit. Um, now, what people have the potential to do is essentially record stuff at home and still get pretty good quality. As long as you have a job and you're able to pay for the equipment that allows you to record um, at a decent quality, um, all of a sudden you will open yourself up to a lot more exposure over the internet, potentially. And sometimes that's a bad thing, I mean, that kind of results in our Justin Bieber's <laughs> occasionally, and that's not always the greatest thing. But if you have good music, like, the internet's just kind of where it's at. So I really think that overall, getting your sound out there and getting it mass exposure, um, just nowadays it's kind of... Even, to start your career, it's even more important than the live dimension um, because these things are going to feed into each other. And uh, if you are confident in your ability to play live and you have played live, I mean, that's great. You need to have total and utter confidence in your music. Um, but ultimately, the internet is where all that's just going to explode if, if, if it has that potential to explode. And I think that's very cool. Now because you have such a vast array of who is able to see your music online, you're going to be able to make sure that what you put online is of good quality. Even if it's not that great of like actual sound quality, you want to make sure you have your shit together musically. That is step one. Have your shit together musically. Um, and once you have your shit together musically, then you're going to be able to get, try to get the best sound on your budget. And uh, you're going to have to make a little bit of money. If you're, if you're not a working musician, you're not bringing in a little bit of money, it's going to be really hard for you. Um, it's going to be really hard for you to do a lot of things. Um, yeah, that's just kind of the way it is. But you're going to have to work hard and you're going to have to invest in your passion. And that's just kind of the way it is. But again, like your funding should feed into your music, but eventually your music should feed back into your funding. So initially, if you've never played, even played live anywhere, 
or written over three songs, you're not going to want to invest $10,000 into your craft. Um, eventually, you're going to be wanting to get to the point where your music is bringing you a little bit of money. And uh, that's this is kind of a basic general guideline, but it's all important to check with yourself about why you're doing your music. And that's going to be very important down the line because it's going to take a lot of work. Um, so in the end, this is kind of my summary. Um, the live portion of your music, it's essential, but nowadays it's not even as important as getting your music online and getting like potentially an album out there, but you don't even need an album anymore. You just need good songs. That's essentially all you need. And that's going to help further your career and get your name out there because that's one of the most important things you're going to be able to want to do. Marketing is far more superior on the internet now nowadays than it is on public. Sad to say, in some respects, but hey, if you can make it, make it. So that's all I got for today. Thanks, YouTube. I'll be back with uh, hopefully more musical videos. So thank you.